Now, how do you change? I'm going to give you some information today, and this is going to start a process. It won't finish a process, but it's going to start a process for you. Why do I say watch NetworkMarketingPro.com every day? It's not an egotistical thing for me. It is the only industry-specific daily discipline that I could give you that will remind you and start to program you in a positive way for this profession on a daily basis. Whether or not it seems to matter. You know what? It won't matter in one day or a week or a month. But a year from today, you'll be a different person. You will slowly reprogram yourself for success. Now, what do you need to do? If you want to reprogram this to change your thoughts, it's a four-step process. One, awareness. You need to raise your awareness and say, Where are the, what are the issues that are holding me back? Raise your awareness. I'm afraid of making money. Deep down, I've been told so many times that you know, rich people are evil. I've seen so many movies. You know, I've been told so many times all these different things that, you know what? Maybe that's true. So, awareness of whatever the issues are for you. Awareness of your limiting beliefs about your ability, ability, ability to lead. You might say, I'm not a leader. I might be able to find some people, but I'm not a leader. Well, that's going to hold you back. So, awareness is number one. Two is understanding. You understand, okay, this is a very important thing for me. This is a life lesson for me. And here's the thing with life lessons. If you don't learn them, they will repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, just like hitting the print button, and hitting the print button, and hitting the print button. It's not the computer's fault, and it's not the printer's fault. If you keep hitting the print button, and you don't go fix the issue, you're going to be left with that typo in your life forever. But if you become aware, oh, I can go change this. Here's the problem. I understand, oh, when I get a typo, here's what I do. Third step is disassociation with the things that are holding you back. Disassociation with hitting print over and over and over and over when it's not getting you a result. Saying, no, 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 that's not my pattern anymore. That used to be my pattern, it's not anymore. And then step four, reprogramming. reprogramming you to be able to have total control of your life. And here's the best place to look. What are the repeating patterns that happen in your life? What are the repeating patterns? I get to this stage, and then this happens. And then I get to that stage again, and then it happens again. And then I get to that stage again, and then it happens again. Okay, this is a pattern. You're going to find patterns in your relationships, patterns in your health, patterns in your network marketing, business. And you need to identify the patterns and then go through this four-step process of awareness, understanding, disassociation, and then reprogramming. If you'll do that, then you can be free. Okay? So, programming is going to shape your thoughts. And here's what I mean by shaping your thoughts. We all have a mental scales. Okay? We take an idea. Somebody says, what do you think of this? We take that idea and we put it on our mental scales. And if it shows up a 1 on a scale of 1 to 10, we don't think it's that important. We don't pay any attention to it. If it shows up a 10 on our, on a, based upon our programming, this is a 10. This is very important. You act on the 10. Okay? And there, it, there's no difficulty acting on the 10. That's easy. Think of the strongest things in your culture. Wherever the culture is, there's many cultures in this room. What are the strongest things in the culture? Those are not difficult to do. It's going against that culture that's difficult, right? The strongest things in the culture are easy to do. They're natural to do. They're no problem to do. Why? Because you've been programmed that this is what will bring happiness, success, security, comfort, 
belonging. Okay, I'll do it. And it's easy. You might fight it when you're two years old, but you probably don't fight it now. Okay, you put it on your mental scales. You weigh it. Okay, this is, this is important. And bam, those thoughts will make your attitude be easy. You'll be excited about doing it. You're happy about doing it. We're fam our family is very family oriented. So getting together for family with all of our family all the time, that is not hard. We do that with a good, positive, excited attitude all the time. There's some families in this room that is not your culture, right? It's like pulling teeth to have those types of interactions. It's just a difference in culture, a difference in thoughts, a difference in programming, okay? So let me give you a couple things about attitude. Programming leads to thoughts. Thoughts lead to attitude, feelings. What you think will determine what you feel, okay? Let me give you four things. I borrowed this from Jim Rohn on attitude. How you feel about four things will really shape you. How you feel about your past. There's some of you in this room that are just absolutely beating yourselves to death about what you didn't do, the things you haven't performed, the things you haven't lived up to, your unfulfilled promises. You're beating yourself up because maybe you fell short of that mark. And this might be just now, but I'll tell you, if it's a repeating pattern of feeling bad about the past, that's something that you need to reprogram. Here's my opinion. Use the past as a school to learn from. There are no good or bad experiences, in my opinion. Only learning experiences. Right? So you do something and it blows up. You just got to say, what did I learn from this? Okay, I can apply that to better programming for tomorrow. All right? So how you feel about the past, don't beat yourself up about it. I see so many people inside of our profession that absolutely bludgeon themselves every day. Bam, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, I'm stupid. I blew up my group, I wrecked my warm market. I'm such a dummy, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> true or not true? True. 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 You've got to just understand we're all going through a journey together. We're all learning together. We're all trying to find our path together. And you're going to learn some things, you're going to make some mistakes, but so what? No good, no bad experiences, just learning experiences. When you have success, what did you learn from it? When you have failure, what did you learn from it? That's all you need to worry about. It's one big, huge experiment to find our path. And if you use every experience to create better programming, then you can have a better future. But if you use all the past experiences to beat yourself up, guess what you have to look forward to again? The same thing. You're going to spend the rest of your life beating yourself up. Creating regrets that don't need to be there. You hear me? Those regrets don't need to be there. Just take it, learn from it, and let's grow, okay? So how do you feel about the past? Second, how do you feel about the future? The power of the future is an awesome force. It's amazing. But your vision for your future has to be so strong that it'll pull you through all the obstacles. If you can paint a strong vision for the future, for yourself, you can say, okay, now I can get there. That vision will pull you through. But if it's weak, if you don't have a vision for the future, you just have a vision for today, it doesn't matter what obstacle shows up, it's going to be enough to stop you dead in your tracks. So this is programming. Again, how you feel about the future is really important for your future. Number one, for your group's future. Number two, for the company's future. Number three, maybe your country's future. Number four, how do you feel about that? Third, how you feel about each other is going to create incredible programming. We all need each other. You know, we all have things to bring, and values and skills and stories. I wish we could hear all of your stories. Your story would be amazing. The world needs to hear your story. We all need each other. 
Each of us need all of us. All of us need each of us. We're all a part of this journey together. So how you feel about that is important. Now, how you think about it, based upon your programming, some of your programming is, those guys are outsiders. They're not our race. So, that will create thoughts when it comes to working together, which will create feelings when it comes to working together. And even though you nod and you smile and you do the activities at the events, it's not going to lead to a global family. It's going to lead for you to a little bit of isolation of just your people, for you, which is a choice. It has nothing to do with reality. It's just a choice. So understand, on the, on the most important of levels, we're all the same. On the really, there's a few cultural differences here or there, but we're all the same. If you learn to understand and appreciate each other for what we bring, and our diversity and our differences... You know, we don't need to have the same religious background. We don't need to have the same uh, race. We don't need to be of the same kind of, uh, you know, bunch of teachers or a bunch of doctors or a bunch of whatever. We can have all different kinds of walks of life, all different kinds of ages, and we all have something to bring. Okay? And the fourth thing is how you feel about yourself. How you feel about the past is one. How you feel about... The future is two. How you feel about each other is three. Really important, especially as you're building a group. And how you feel about yourself is something that you need to program every day through the books that you're reading and the things that you're listening to and the stuff that you're watching and the classes that you're going to and there's people you're spending time with. That needs to be building up how you feel about you. That programming will lead to th your thinking, which will lead to your feeling, which will lead to your activity. You can't shortcut it. So is that good stuff? Yeah? yeah? All right, good. So programming leads to thoughts. Thoughts lead to attitude. Attitude leads to activity.